Hey guys, today's topic is faith. I was just talking with my men's group about the difference between saving faith, you know, that defining moment faith. I'll put a link here to that topic if you've never talked about that before. But we talked about the difference between saving faith and acts of faith. And they came up with some really good insights and I wanted to share it with you here in this video. First, saving faith leads to acts of faith. You know, if you check out this circle here, which is really how we define a pursuit of God, being a follower of Jesus, we start by trusting Jesus. That's all about faith. And then, of course, we live to honor God and we mature and we grow by helping other people. But look at that first thing again. Starting by trusting Jesus is all about faith. It's all about saving faith. But after you've started by trusting Jesus, at some point you're going to loop back in your life and you're going to be tested and you're going to have to show that you continue to trust Jesus in your life. And that's what we call acts of faith. So see, your saving faith, you know, that thing that saved you when you first started your relationship with God, at some point it's going to lead to more and more acts of faith in your life. Like for example, one of the guys in our men's group, he said that he felt like it was time for him to move on in his career. And it was a real big step, a real big leap of faith for him. Now, he had prayed his prayer and gave his heart to Christ years earlier, but this was just an, another opportunity for him to trust in Jesus, trust his perspective, to sort of put himself out there and sort of take that leap of faith. Of course, it's not as big of a leap of faith as when he first put his faith in Jesus Christ, but you see how it's connected? Because saving faith leads to acts of faith. So here's my question for you. Where is God asking you to step out in faith? You know, if you've already put your faith in Christ, then you're a Christian, but maybe it's been a while since you've really sort of exercised your faith and really have stepped out in faith, maybe by, you know, sort of helping someone else and getting in the game and helping someone else pursue God, sharing your faith at work or, or with a neighbor or something like that. Or maybe it's, it's with a relationship, maybe it's with a job, whatever it is. Where is it that God is calling you to step out in faith? And I just would encourage you to think that when you're answering that question, make sure that you put it through that grid, right? To say, listen, I want to make sure that God's word, God's spirit, and God's people are all in agreement with this thing. You know, sometimes we step out in faith and it's really just doing what we want to do. So, for example, if, if you were to say, guys, well, I think God's calling me to leave my wife and go, you know, find someone else. Well, that doesn't line up with God's word. So that's not stepping out in faith. That's just being dumb. You're not going to hear God's audible voice. At least I've never heard God's audible voice. But when I listen to God's word, when I read his word and I obey it, when I listen to, you know, men of God in my life that I know are going to speak God's truth into my life, and when I really sort of pray and plug into God's spirit, then I know that I can have confidence that that thing that I feel like God's calling me to do really is something that I must do in faith. And here's what I've learned. Acts of faith will increase your faith. You know, maybe if you're watching this video today and you say, I'm struggling in my own life, maybe in your own relationship with God, you don't feel a nearness to God. Maybe you just haven't stepped out in faith in a while. Acts of faith will increase your faith. So anyway, this was a good topic for my men's group, and maybe it'll be good for you and your small group or your mentoring relationship as well. Don't ever stop trusting Jesus. Keep moving forward in your pursuit of God.